بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویل اسٹوڈنٹس یسٹرڈے وی کورڈ ساؤنڈ واٹ از ساؤنڈ ہاؤ ساؤنڈ از پروڈیوسڈ واٹ از دا سائیکلوجیکل میننگ آف ساؤنڈ واٹ از دا فزیکل میننگ آف ساؤنڈ واٹ آر دا تھنگس نیسیسری فار پروڈکشن آف ساؤنڈ ان وچ وی انڈر لائن تھری تھنگس اے وائبریٹنگ باڈی اے میٹیریل میڈیم اینڈ ریسیور وی ٹک دیس دیس تھری تھنگس ور نیسیسری فار دا پروڈکشن آف ساؤنڈ دیس تھری تھنگس ور نیسیسری اے وائبریٹنگ باڈی اے میٹیریل میڈیم اینڈ اے ریسیور دین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ دا لانگیٹیوڈنل نیچر آف دا ساؤنڈ ویوس اینڈ وی سیٹ دیٹ ساؤنڈ ویوس mechanical waves and are longitudinal in nature. Next we covered about the characteristics of sounds and we talked first of all about loudness, on what factors does it depend, amplitude of the vibrating body, area of the vibrating body and distance of the vibrating body from the receiver. Next we talked about the second characteristic which was pitch and pitch of the sound helps you to distinguish between a grave and a shrill sound. It depends upon the frequency of the source. Next we talked about the quality of sound in which we said that if sounds of two different instruments are being played, your ear can distinguish which one is which. Then talked about intensity. Now we will talk about intensity which is one of the characteristics of sound waves. And we'll talk a little bit in detail. Intensity is defined as sound intensity passing per second through a unit area held perpendicular to the direction of propagation of sound waves is known as intensity of sound. Suppose this is a speaker and the speaker is emitting sound waves and you place a unit area perpendicular to it like this, how much sound waves are impacting upon it? That is known as the intensity. Again, intensity, sound intensity passing per second through a unit area held perpendicular to the direction of propagation of sound waves is known as intensity of sound. The unit of intensity of sound, sound is a physical quantity. Please remember this. And all physical quantities are measurable quantities. And it is also a vector quantity because it has magnitude and it has direction of flow. So please remember if there is ever a question coming in the MCQs whether sound is a vector or a scalar quantity, please understand that it is a vector quantity. The unit of intensity of sound is watts per meter square. The unit is watts, how much energy is coming from this source and per meter square in the unit area. So watts per meter square is the unit of sound intensity. Now, as I told you, it is a vector quantity. Remember, it is a physical quantity. Now, we cover another topic, which is sound intensity level. sound intensity level. The human ear responds to the intensities ranging from 10 raised to the power minus 12 watts per meter square to more than 1 watt per meter square. This is the range, it's a very wide range in which the sound intensity can be felt by the human ear. It's a marvelous thing that has been given to us by nature. And it has got a very wide range of uh, listening to the sound. So the human ear responds to intensities ranging from 10 to the power minus 12 watts per meter square to more than 1 watt per meter square. Because this range is so wide, so intensities are scaled by a factor of 10. And the faintest sound, now we come to the, the intensity of faintest and the loudest sound. The barely audible or faint sound is 10 raised to the power minus 12 watts per meter square. This range 
is the faintest audible sound range and this range is the maximum range so the barely audible faintest sound is 10 raised to power 10 raised to power minus 12 watts per meter this is the sound intensity which the human ear can can listen to it can feel it and the loudest sound the intensity of sound that is taken as 10 raised to power the loudest is the one one watt per meter square the barely audible and faintest sound is taken as a reference intensity and is known as zero bell it is after Alexander Graham Bell who, who, who named this unit so after him it is known as bell so the zero bell is 10 raised to power minus 12 watts per meter watts per meter square and the intensity of sound which can be heard without pain is 1 watt per meter this is the maximum sound that can be heard so please remember the faintest is 10 raised to power minus 12 watts per meter square the maximum is 1 watt per meter square and 10 raised to power minus 12 watts per meter square is taken as the zero bell okay so I have written it down also please note that intensity of sound is a physical quantity and it does not depend upon the condition or sensitivity of ear it does not depend because a physical quantity is something that is measurable when it is coming out of a of a source of sound then it is going and striking the ear whether the ear can listen to it or not it is a physical quantity it keeps doing so please note that intensity of sound is a physical quantity and it does not depend upon the condition or sensitivity of ear condition mean whether it is a defective ear or it is a sensitive ear whereas loudness depends upon the magnitude of sensation produced by the ear now when you say something is very loud it is a sensation that has been produced in the ear it depends not only on the intensity of sound but also on the physical condition of ear so when you say something is very loud it is the intensity of sound which is coming into the ear and striking the eardrum and making it move now another very important thing that we have to cover after going through all this the intensity of sound its definition the units the sound intensity level, intensity level the sound intensity of the faintest audible sound and the sound intensity of the loudest sound after taking this thing and the condition that are depending upon it we now move to the Weber Fechner law it is a very famous law and this is the law which concerns this intensity level loudness if loudness is L of sound is directly proportional to the logarithm of intensity so log loudness is proportional to log of I the intensity which is coming into the air as I told you it is a physical quantity the range is very wide 10 raised to power minus 12 watts per meter square to 1 watt per meter square the range is very wide so we take it as in, in the logarithmic scale so loudness L of sound is directly proportional to the logarithm of intensity log loudness is proportional to log i this is known as the weber fechner law please understand this thing and, and the book has not mentioned it but the, it is quite possible that a question comes in the examination that what is weber fechner law so please note this thing down and remember that the weber fechner law is loudness is proportional to log of i and this is the mathematical expression of weber fechner law okay now converting proportionality into equality we come to log loudness is equal to k log i when you convert this proportionality into equality then becomes loudness l is equal to k log i where k is a constant of proportionality now another thing comes up if l naught represents the loudness of the faintest audible sound of intensity i naught if I naught is the faintest audible intensity and L naught is the loudness that it produces and if L is the loudness of an unknown sound of intensity I then we can write that L naught is equal to K log of I naught here L is equal to K log of I means loudness any sound of loudness coming into the ear 
it's loudness is equal to k log of i where i is the intensity and if this is the faintest possible then or the unknown possible then l naught is equal to k log of i naught from here and subtracting 11.2 equation equation 11.2 form equation 11.1 this is equation 11.1 we get l minus l naught loudness l minus l naught is equal to k log of i k log of i minus k log of i naught or l minus l naught is equal to k into log i minus log i naught is equal to k log i over i naught this is a very very important relationship please remember this k log i over i naught the difference l the difference L minus L naught between the loudness L of an unknown source and loudness L naught is called the intensity level. The difference between L minus L naught is known as intensity level. Therefore, intensity level of an unknown source is given by K log of I over I naught. This is equation 11.13. The value of K, of course, depends upon the units of intensity, I, I naught, and on units of intensity level. It depends upon this thing. Now we come to the next topic, which is about what is the what is bell, or what is one bell? It's the unit of intensity, the SI unit of intensity level. The SI, you know, please remember, this is the system international. The SI unit of intensity level or sound level is bell. If intensity I of any unknown sound is 10 times greater than the intensity I naught of the faintest sound, then I is equal to 10 times I naught. I naught is the faintest possible sound, which is 10 to the power minus 12 watts per meter square. This unit is called bell. So what is one bell? Please remember this definition. If intensity I of any unknown sound is 10 times greater than the intensity I know the faintest sound, then I is equal to 10 times I naught. This unit is called bell. The value of K is taken as is taken as 1. So equation 11 3 becomes log I over L I naught. Bell, as you can see, is a very large unit. It depends upon a very wide range of 10 to the power minus 12 watts per meter square to 10 to the to 1 watt per meter square. So since it is a very large unit, so we, we, we divide into decibels, which is 10 times less than that. So decibel is abbreviated as dB. One bell is equal to 10 dBs. If intensity level is measured in dB, then equation 11.4, this one, becomes in intensity level is equal to 10 times log I over I naught. This was in bells unit and this one is in decibel unit. The only difference is this is in this is in bell and this is in decibel. So one intensity level is 10 times log I over I naught to dB. Using equation 11.5 this equation using this equation 11.5 we can construct a scale for measuring we can make for measuring intensity level of sounds. Some other units of uh, sound intensity of sound are which are given here besides bell is phone and son, S O N E. These are related to decibel. Maybe there's a question which says what other units are there for intensity levels. So I revise again for recapitulation. Last time we covered about what is sound. Then we covered the characteristics of sounds. We covered what, 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 what are the things necessary for production of sound. Now we go on intensity. Intensity, the definition of intensity is the sound intensity passing per second through a unit area held perpendicular to the direction of propagation of sound is known as intensity. Its unit is, it's a vector quantity and it is a physical quantity. The unit of intensity is watt per meter square. Watt per meter square. Sound intensity level, the human ear has a very large range in which it can listen to sounds, which is the least audible and the maximum sound it can hear. So, 
the faintest of the the faintest sound the human ear can hear is ten to minus twelve watts per meter square, and about one watt is a mixture. Because this range is so intensely level scale by a factor of ten, that is why we have decibels. The bell, the faintest possible sound, the barely audible sound, is ten to the power minus twelve watts per meter square, and this is taken at intensity level of zero bell. And please remember that the intensity of sound is a physical quantity, and it does not depend upon the condition or sensitivity of the human ear, whereas loudness depends upon the magnitude of sensation produced by the ear. It depends not only on intensity of sound but also on the physical condition of ear. Next important topic about it is Weber-Fechner law, which says if loudness of sound is directly proportional to log of intensity, the loudness of sound is directly proportional to log of intensity, or L is equal to K log I. This is the mathematical expression of Weber-Fechner law. And please remember this: loudness is equal to k log i. Suppose if L naught represents the loudness of the faintest audible sound of intensity i naught, and L is the loudness on unknown source, then L naught is equal to k log of i. Or subtracting this from equation 11.1, we get L minus L naught is equal to k log i minus k log i naught, or L minus L naught is equal to k log i over n is equal to k log. I over I naught. This difference level between the loudness of unknown sound and loudness is known as the intensity level of unknown sound. Therefore, intensity level of an unknown sound is given by k log I over I naught. The value of k depends upon intensity of the I and the I naught and on the intensity level. The unit of intensity level is a bell. It is a physical quantity. Intensity level is in physical quantity. It's a vector quantity. If intensity i of an unknown sound is ten times greater than the intensity i naught of the faintest sound, this unit is called bell. The value of k is taken as one. If the value of k is taken as one, of course, then intensity level of k log i of i naught, since this is a large unit, so a decibel is normally used, which is abbreviated as db. And therefore, intensity level becomes 10 times log i or i naught. Using this equation, a scale can be constructed for different things. Please make notes of it. Draw headings, neat and clean diagram. Use the side boxes also to to understand different tables given over there. The blue boxes given. If you have any difficulty, please feel free to talk to me or call me on the numbers given. I will write down again zero triple three. Double five one six three five eight and zero double three six five four seven double three one two. You can call on this number whenever you have any difficulty, and I'll be happy if you call me. Thank you very much.